Hello, I am Catherine Plaisant from the Human Computer Interaction Laboratory of the University of Maryland. I will be discussing the design of touchscreen toggle switches for novice users. Toggle switches are those buttons, levers, sliders that allow us to directly turn on and off lights, radios, TVs, and any other type of devices. Computers now allow the design of new type of toggle switches. However, there are still many inadequate designs that can be found in existing systems. For example, here, it is quasi impossible to say what the status of the toggle is. On, off, nobody is really sure. Here, the box is a good clue. But this shows a classic problem. I don't really know if the box around the on indicates that the device is on, or if the box indicates where to touch to turn the device on. Another problem is to, that the toggle has to be identifiable as a toggle. Is this just a label, or is it a toggle? If I touch quit, I'll probably quit. So if I touch on, the device might turn on. Or is it already on? Those are the type of problems encountered by novice or first-time users, and we wish to address those problems in our designs. We implemented six types of toggles, ran a usability test, and refined some of the toggles according to the result of the test. Our practical goal was to select a usability-tested, error-free toggle to be used in a home automation system. This work was conducted with Custom Command Systems, a small Maryland company, we design and install home automation system which integrate entertainment, security, lighting, climate control, etc. in affluent homes and offices. In the house, the homeowner sees a screen flush mounted in the wall or in the cabinetry. They locate the device on the menu structure and then manipulate the toggle. For example, here you see the one button toggles. In this second toggle, both possible states are shown, and only color is used to indicate the status of the device. This is a two-button version. A simple two-state animation shows a status change. This is a more busy graphic design, but the mechanism is pretty easily recognized. In the very similar rocker version, the motion fits well with the finger's gesture. With the slider toggle, the slider has to move from one side to the other. Same principle for the lever toggle. Having to use a sliding gesture makes the toggle slightly more difficult to use, but greatly reduces the chances of advertently switch the toggle. We ran a usability study with 15 subjects. They, they were given representative tasks and error rate and user satisfaction data were collected. The results showed that no error were made while reading the state of the toggle. A fairly consistent ordering was found. For example, here the subjective preference index show the ordering one button, rocker, two button, words, slider, and lever. Uh, the one button and rocker were significantly preferred over the slider and lever. Nevertheless, we observed some important individual differences. We think that the one button was preferred because the graphic design is relatively simple and the state is easily read. But the problem remains that push buttons are not always recognized as toggles. The usability test also highlighted some problem with the implementation of the toggles. For example, now we highlight the toggles when you touch it to indicate that you are controlling the toggle. We also compensated for the touch bias. User tended to uh, touch below the toggle. Uh, the color of on and off are differentiated. And we also allow direct touch on the opposite side of the toggle. It's imp important to note that uh, this last change allow an easier switch of the toggle. But this last change makes the toggle less secure. It is very rare to change the toggle state inadvertently when a sliding gesture is required. We also observed that all users uh, spontaneously or after the first try use sliding movement to uh, manipulate this toggle. The evaluation showed some important differences in personal preferences. And we found it difficult to recommend a single design. We think that toggles are a good candidate for user customization. 
Nevertheless, if one toggle had to be recommended as an always acceptable toggle for first-time users, the rocker toggle is a good choice. It is immediately identified as a toggle, the state is always re read properly, and it was found easy to manipulate, and the 3D design was also fine attractive. The refinement we made were to uh, use different color for on and off to allow a reading without actually reading the label, and also to allow sweeping through all the toggles. This study showed that there are important differences among the alternative designs. We provided examples for practitioners to follow and describe refinements. Potential research topics include the use of toggle under stress, the study of combinations of toggles, and multiple state switches. Thank you.